Hi, I'm Jessica Rose. A trucker is arrested in a crash that killed a mother and her young twins. And troopers discover three small children locked in the back of a U-Haul truck in Tennessee. Hi, I'm Craig Maltman. Peloton Technology shows off the platooning technology that allows one trucker to drive two trucks. And Shell Rotella announces the dates and locations of their 37th annual Shell Rotella Super Rigs Contest. Hi, I'm David Compton. A trucker obtains multiple fake CDLs and then ends up suing the Department of Transportation. And Indiana's Trooper in a Truck program naps 43 drivers in three hours. These are the stories we're covering on this edition of the Trucker News Channel. The Indiana State Police have reported the arrest of a truck driver involved in a crash that killed a young mother and her two infant daughters and sent seven others to the hospital. Police say the driver, 57-year-old Bruce Pollard of Sturgeon, Missouri, was traveling well above the posted speed limit when his truck collided with traffic stopped for construction, hitting six cars and overturning a truck in the eastbound lanes of I-465 near mile marker 33. 29-year-old Alana Kuhn and her 18-month-old twin daughters June and Ruby Kuhn died on the scene. Pollard told police a white car caught him off, slammed on its brakes and sped away, causing him to brake and hit cars in front of him. However, witnesses at the scene claim he failed to see traffic was stopped. Seven adults were taken to area hospitals, two with critical injuries and five in good condition. Pollard remains in jail where he faces charges for five accounts of criminal recklessness causing injury and three preliminary accounts of reckless homicide. Back in the 90s, an old boss of mine who was also an attorney told me that any idiot can sue anybody over anything as long as they can pay the filing fee. Well, this guy must have had enough cheddar in his wallet because this lawsuit will make you shake your head. It seems a trucker who used a fake identity to obtain a commercial driver's license has filed a suit against the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation. Apparently, truck driver Gonzalo Montañez alleged the Penn DOT violated his rights of due process in a timely hearing in November 2017 when it suspended his CDL, which he admitted he obtained through deceptive means. Montañez had created multiple identities to obtain more than one CDL, and when the previous identities had their licenses revoked, well, according to the court documents, in the course of the CDL renewal process, the Penn DOT used facial recognition software to compare Montañez's license photograph to others in the department's database. Anyway, Montañez gets caught, and he brings a lawsuit against the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, Penn DOT, and the Bureau of Driver Licensing. He argues that his due process rights were violated and contended he never received the suspension notices. You can't make this stuff up. 12,000 reasons to apply and much more. When it's time for me to go home, uh, US Express always does everything they need to do to get me home. In an emergency situation, as soon as you tell them, they start making a plan. Get home on time. Plus, an extra $12,000 your first year at U.S. Express. That's an extra thousand bucks every month. We're hiring immediately, so click or call now. Three people have been arrested and charged with a series of offenses after Tennessee authorities found three children locked in the back of a U-Haul box truck. The Tennessee Department of Safety and Homeland Security reports that a bystander observed several small children being locked into a rental truck. Highway Patrol Trooper Owen Caudill was dispatched and stopped the truck heading west on Interstate 40. The driver, 36-year-old Eric LaRue, admitted that people were in the back of the vehicle. When opened, three children aged 1, 5, and 8 were discovered. The outside temperature was 92 degrees. Caudill, along with other authorities on the scene, said the strong odor of drugs was present in the cab, and one of the passengers produced a small amount of marijuana. A later probable cause search also produced quantities of crystal meth, cocaine, and drug paraphernalia. The three adults in the cab were booked into the Cock County Jail, and three children are currently in the care of the Department of Children's Services. There's no doubt that the vantage point from the cab of a semi leads itself to a whole different perspective of the drivers around you. Well, this is exactly what happened as the Indiana State Police Troopers launched their Trooper in a Truck program. Lieutenant Tyler Utterback was placed in a ghost truck where he was looking for infractions such as texting. 
When an offender was spotted, he'd relay the information to a marked police vehicle who would then pull over the driver. During the three-hour effort, Indiana State Troopers issued 43 citations and an additional 40 warnings. With Catscale's Way My Truck app, you can be in and out and back on the road in mere minutes. Simply register at waymytruck.com and download the app to your smartphone. The more information you provide, such as company name, truck number, and trailer number, the faster your ways will go, so be sure to include as much as possible. When you pull in, just line up on the scales, fire up the app, verify the information, and the cashier will take it from there. Peloton Technology Incorporated, a connected and automated vehicle technology company, has unveiled its vision for doubling the productivity of drivers through the development of its new Level 4 automated following solution. Peloton's automated following is an advanced platooning system using vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle technology to enable a single driver to drive a pair of vehicles. Platooning and automated following systems work by utilizing V2V communications and radar-based active braking systems combined with vehicle control algorithms. Peloton's proprietary technology link pairs of heavy trucks for connected driving that improves aerodynamics, fuel economy, and safety. Peloton's Level 1 system, Platoon Pro, has a driver in both the lead and follow trucks. The driver in the follow truck steers, but the system controls the powertrain and brakes to manage the following distance very precisely and to provide immediate reaction to whatever acceleration or braking the lead truck performs. Shell Rotella has announced their 37th annual Shell Rotella Super Rigs will be held at Trails Travel Center in Albert Lee, Minnesota, July 25th through the 27th. Contestants and attendees will be able to see the hardest working trucks in the industry and enjoy all the amenities on site throughout the three-day event. There's no fee to enter a truck in Super Rigs, and the weekend is designed to be fun for the entire family. Trails Travel Center is located at the intersection of Interstate 35 and I-90. The Shell Rotella Super Rigs competition is considered the premier truck beauty contest for actively working trucks. Owner-operator truckers from across the United States and Canada compete annually for more than $25,000 in cash and prizes, and 12 drivers will be selected to have their trucks featured in the annual 2020 Shell Rotella Super Rigs calendar. If you're watching us on YouTube, make sure to click the little red subscribe button below. You can also go to thetrucker.com to read the latest breaking news stories. That's all for this edition. On behalf of David Compton, Craig Maltman, and everyone else at the Trucker News Channel, thanks for watching.